bake. So I have already gone ahead and preheated my oven to 375 degrees and I have diced up the turkey breast. Um, this recipe is very easy to customize with whatever ingredients you have on hand. If you don't have turkey, you can use chicken breast, you can use chicken thighs, um, pretty much uh, any kind of chicken or turkey you can go on the bottom of the pan. So we have a 9 by 13 baking dish and I've greased it already. Again, whatever you have on hand, you can use butter, margarine, a little bit of oil. Um, I've used a little bit of olive oil just so that the turkey doesn't stick. So we're gonna take the diced turkey and put it in the bottom of the pan. So we wanna try to spread it out nice and evenly. And then once we're done that, we can sprinkle it with a little bit of salt and pepper if you like. And then on top of the turkey, once you have it all spread out, we're going to pour the cream of mushroom soup. Again, if you don't have cream of mushroom soup, you can use cream of celery, um, pretty much any kind of uh, condensed cream soup you can use. Cream of chicken would work as well. So we're just going to spoon that over top and kind of spread it around nice and evenly right over the turkey. If you're finding it's a little too thick, feel free to put some water in the can and swirl it around just to help it out a little bit and thin it out. Okay, so that's one can. And after we spread the soup over top, we're gonna add a little layer of cheese. If you don't have cheese, you definitely don't have to put the cheese on. If you're trying to eat healthier, you can leave the cheese off as well. It's just a nice little added touch of flavor. So the total recipe calls for one cup of cheese. I have that already measured. So I'm just gonna take about half of that and sprinkle it into the pan. And then on top of the cheese, you can add whatever veggies you like or whatever veggies you have on hand. Um, fresh cut broccoli is really nice in this. Just dice it up um, small and put it over top. Uh, today we're gonna use, um, we have sweet potatoes, or sorry, sweet peas and carrots, and then a can of corn, because corn makes everything better. So we're just gonna sprinkle that right over top. It's really nice and easy. I've already pre-drained both the cans of vegetables. You wanna make sure you're not dumping any um, of the vegetable water on top. So we've got that in there nice. So this is a really fast, easy dinner you can make after work. It's a one pot dinner, so there isn't a lot of cleanup after. Now we're gonna take the stuffing. We've got two boxes of stuffing. And we're just gonna pour a little bit of water over top, just to moisten it up a little bit. We have one cup of water. Kind of mix that around. Till it's nice and mixed, and then we're gonna sprinkle that over top. So get it into your pan. Stuffing's the best part, so make sure you get that all in there. And just spread it out evenly over top. And then, again, if you have cheese on hand, you can add some more cheese. Um, definitely not a requirement. Just adds some nice flavor. And that was super fast. And just like that, we have turkey dinner in a pan. So I'm gonna put it in the oven um, for 45, about 45 minutes or until the um, chicken or turkey looks done. So we don't want it pink inside. So I've taken this out of the oven five minutes early. It only needed 40 minutes to bake. So it really depends on your own oven. 
In order to make sure it was cooked, I took out a piece of turkey and made sure it was white all the way through so there's no more pink left over. So as you can see, it's nice and crispy. If you don't want it to be crispy, you can cover it with tin foil while it's baking and it will stay more moist. So I would let this rest for 10 minutes just to thicken up and then serve.